I have not watched this video yet. I saw it on Reddit, uh, but I didn't watch. I thought that I'd save this for stream. So apparently this YouTuber um, is going to film himself getting a job at McDonald's. But in actuality, he's not really working at McDonald's. He's LARPing as a McDonald's worker for a day or so. Um, and he's going to essentially, from my understanding of the description of this video, drive home the point that it's not that bad to work at McDonald's. They respect their workers. Uh, and also, there's a little bit of a problem. This video is sponsored by McDonald's UK. Mm. So a little bit of a conflict of interest. So the YouTuber in question here is Ole White Vlogs. He is a, a British person. I don't know if that sounded more Australian. I shouldn't try with the British accent, but I don't know um, like if this is really a political YouTuber per se. Uh, seems like he's, uh, you know, just a standard regular YouTuber, like vlogs and shit. Surprising my brother on his 19th birthday. What is Okay, so he's just like a vlogger or something like that. So I don't think that like he's explicitly political, Let's go. but like it or not, this video is going to be political if you're going to drive home a certain point. Now, look, I haven't watched it yet. So if it is the case that, you know, he explains how his experience when it comes to this PR stunt for McDonald's to, I guess, you know, whitewash their treatment of workers if he explains that that's not like representative of the average mcdonald's uk worker okay i guess that's better but i think we all know where this is probably going to go right he's going to do propaganda and make it seem as if mcdonald's you know it's all hunky-dory he treats his uh they treat their employees well now i don't know about the uk i'm sure it's the same there same company but in the united states mcdonald's workers are treated like complete shit they get their hours cut so they can't, you know, qualify for health care. That's not a problem in the UK, obviously, but uh, they don't have uh, unions. They're underpaid, overworked. Um, they have no benefits, essentially. Uh, I think that management does have more benefits, but still, like McDonald's workers are exploited and they're treated like shit by management, by customers. So um, let's see him uh, apparently whitewash McDonald's uh, employees treatment. <laughs> What is up, people? How is it going? And welcome to the vlog. Now, I've heard that you can apply for a job at McDonald's using Alexa. You know how much I love my food, and you know how much I love my tech as well. So I thought, why not try and apply and get a job at McDonald's? Alexa, help me get a job at McDonald's. Here's the skill McDonald's apply through by Paradox Incorporated for McDonald's. Hi, what country do you want to work in? United Kingdom. How Welcome cool is this? Okay, just from the beginning, this is an advertisement for McDonald's. Like, it's sponsored by McDonald's, but he's, like, going in right off the bat saying, oh, did you know that you can apply for McDonald's using your Alexa app? Why is his watch pixelated? I didn't notice that. In order to continue yeah, to that is weird. We need you to indicate your first name and telephone number. Mm. Okay, we're not... I'm not going to watch every second of it. Let's get to the McDonald's portion. Okay, he puts on the uniform. He's officially LARPing. And, and first of all, I think that this doesn't get said enough, but employers should not be able to control every aspect of our lives. I mean, think about how much control employers have. They control everything. They control the clothes that you wear. They control the way that you speak. When I worked at Subway, for example... Um, I would get reprimanded by management because instead of saying, hi, welcome to Subway, I would say, hi, how can I help you today? Nope, Mike, you've got to say, welcome to Subway. Okay, does it fucking matter? I I'm, I'm greeting the customer. Yes, it does matter, apparently. We'll write you up if you don't fucking say the right thing. So they control your clothing, your speech. It's straight up corporate dictatorship stone, as you're saying. Um, so just the fact that they have so much control is insane. Tuck in your shirt. If you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. They are fucking mini uh, tyrants, right? So we have democracy when it comes to our political system, kind of, right? But nobody's even thinking about how we should have democracy in the workplace. But that's besides the point. We are in the kitchen washing down there. This is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be, right? You need to go to here. Oh, hair down. Well, okay. You know, hair down. Is that good? Is that got my 
my hair? Yeah. Is it meant to be over my ears? It's not. <laughs> Put it over your eyes. Oh, okay. Don't get it like that. Yeah. Like a superhero. Right, okay. Not, not so much. Okay, like immediately, no. if this were a real experience as a McDonald's employee, the manager would be like, Stop fucking around! Put on the hairnet! Like, so this is already not accurate. <laughs> and they do that in a very British voice, I'm assuming. <laughs> Okay, this right here, just pure propaganda. You have a camera in a worker's face and asking him, how do you like working at McDonald's? I mean, what do you think he's going to say? Do you want him to be honest? Of course you don't. Uh, what, do you, what do you want him to say? Whenever the district manager would come into, you know, uh, Subway when I worked there or, you know, any job that I had, do you think that we would be honest and upfront? We'd say, oh, no, we love it. It's great. Love everyone here. It's great. Because you you have no choice. You have to say, oh, it's everything is copacetic here. So, I mean, this this dude is like, he can't explain what he actually thinks about this job. I fucking hate it. The people are assholes. You know, I don't get paid enough money. You know, uh, but he can't say that, though. I just want to say, I hope that they like added more people to the staff because like, I would hate to think that he's training this person, training this person um just for a fucking youtube video like i would be pissed like it, it's really difficult to train people i was always like the trainer at my jobs and like i feel like I, I was pretty good at it i'm very patient i think i can explain things well but it's difficult because whenever you're training you don't have extra labor uh they don't you, they usually anyways don't give us extra labor to train so you're like trying to do your job and train and help customers and it becomes so like overwhelming so i hope that they gave him uh, more staff, but I'd imagine they would because this isn't like this is going to be broadcasted to uh, like how many views? Almost six hundred thousand views. So you know they they want to make it look good. So they're going to make sure that he's not overwhelmed. But you know a, a regular training day probably doesn't look like this. Okay, this is five minutes and eighteen seconds. So we cannot watch all of it. Let's go ahead and jump a little bit. You got to be on the ball. On the ball here. Okay, we're going to learn how to fry some chips, right? Yeah. This is something that I've wanted to do. Um, one person wants to ask you. Uh, see, this is where it gets really awkward for me because she just wants to do her fucking job. She doesn't want a camera in her face. She probably didn't sign up for this. Mm, like, can you imagine? having to like put on a happy face for the camera like you already have to put on a fake happy face when you're at work already right but to do it in front of a fucking camera for a youtube video oh, i just can't imagine i would hate this motherfucker if i were her if i were any of them May it, like am i the asshole in this instance maybe i am maybe i'm just too cynical but if somebody came into my job when i'm trying to help customers um and i have like a camera in my face 
I couldn't tolerate that. Like, it's hard to keep your cool sometimes. I never, well, I shouldn't say never. I mostly held my composure on customers, but like, it's hard when you're dehumanized. Like, especially if you have to interact directly with customers. Like, I, again, I worked at Subway. So like, you'd be like making their sandwiches and these motherfuckers are ruthless. So you'd put olives on their sandwich and they'd be like, okay, can I have some uh, green peppers? You put green peppers, they go, more! Like, holy fuck, where did that come from? It's like... <laughs> And then you have other people, you know, they'd walk in, you'd say, hi, how's it going? They'd like, like literally ignore you. Like they don't even see your humanity or recognize your existence. So like, you know, it, to put on a happy face, is kind of difficult. But like this lady just wants to do her job. Leave her the fuck alone. What's one skill that you've learned here that you never thought you would have learned when you first started? I think it's based on the quality. Yeah. I've got to say, for a YouTuber of this size, your audio is fucked, my dude. Like, you should have had a microphone if you were going to bring cameras and put them in all of these workers' faces because you can't hear. Yeah, she's very clearly uncomfortable, and it's making me uncomfortable. It's like you, you've got to read the social cues, my dude. You've got to say, uh, hey, do you want to be on camera? And if you like maybe see that reluctance, back away. Don't make him do it. Like she probably wanted to be nice, but you're making her do it. Like, mm -mm, I don't like this. So this is part of the propaganda. I'm not sure if this is witting or unwitting. I'm sure that they gave him like a little bit of a script to follow. Oh, talk about the skills that you learn, the management skills, the coordination, the time management. Like that's probably what he has to touch on at some point during the video per the rules of the sponsorship. Although I don't know the criteria to be honest, but like you can just see the propaganda all over. Like it just reeks of propaganda. And really the takeaway at the end is what I want to... Uh, what I want to see. Like, what does he say at the end? <laughs> so, how do you think I did? Quite good. I did pretty well. I did pretty well. So, um, we worked... How much of an a-hole was your subway manager, Mike? The worst. The worst. Like, she'd be watching me, and the rule was, okay, you can only put three olives on a six-inch and six olives on a foot long. And if you put more than that, you will get written up unless the customer asks. And no customer wants that little. So, like, she'd be sitting there watching. I see you. I see you putting way more olives on there. It's like, it's fucking olives. Like, who gives a shit? What is it, like, three cents? God damn. Like, such a fucking asshole. Uh, and I worked there when I was a minor. Uh, I worked there for five years, actually. Um, didn't get breaks when I was a minor. Not good. Um, was treated like shit. And the customers were such fuckheads. I swear to God, they're so rude. Never acknowledge the humanity of you. Like, I think that working in uh, retail and fast food, like, it really should be required for everyone. Like, I don't mean that literally, but like, you have so much more sympathy for people in retail and fast food who work with the public after you've been, you know, subject to the wrath of these fucking Karens who are just insane and some of them are borderline psychopathic. It, it's just anything that goes wrong, you get yelled at. If their credit card or, or debit card gets declined, you get yelled at. That's your fault. It's just every little thing is your fault. It's so, so ridiculous. McDonald's, what, have, what have you learned? Have you learned a lot about money management? Because you're on the till. So again, this is the propaganda tactic. What are you learning from McDonald's? Isn't this a wonderful employer? What a great experience. What are you learning? And now she has to take time out of her day and come up with some bullshit for PR for McDonald's. She's not part of the marketing team of McDonald's. Like, if they're going to make her do PR for them, they should pay her accordingly. Because the PR department makes a lot more than these minimum wage employees. Yeah, definitely. Well, mostly confidence. Confidence? Yeah. That's Very a big important. one. So you're a lot more confident when customers come up, you can greet them, you can say hello, yeah. you can have conversation. Make little conversations, so they remember what experience my company. That's what we like to hear. I fucking hate this dude. Let, let me. I fucking hate him. I hate him so much. 
you smug motherfucker putting this camera in the faces of these minimum wage workers, getting them to tell you for your propaganda video that you're getting sponsored for uh, how wonderful it is to work at McDonald's. Like, I bet that the sponsorship money that he got was more than uh, any employee makes in a week. Like, I wonder how much it was. Like, you know, it's a lot of money to actually spend your day here. They're spending a lot of money. Like, let me let me try to, like, figure it out because I was offered a sponsorship deal with some VPN company. I won't name them. And the price tag was like a lot. Like it was a lot of money. It was $300 and $20 uh, for each person who signs up thereafter. No, I didn't take the sponsorship because you already see YouTube ads. You don't need to see more ads. Like, no, that's not okay. I, I don't want to do that. But like if they were willing to pay me like a small VPN company $300 just to plug them for like 30 seconds imagine what they pay what mcdonald's would pay him for spending the day at mcdonald's and making a whole video about this it wasn't nord it was a different one but they're, they're advertised all over and that's not to say that like if you take advertisements you're inherently bad um i would do it if i if i my channel like needed it and we had no revenue but i just i don't want you to watch more i, I hate ads so i don't want you to watch more ads um but yeah like he's he's making thousands of dollars that'd be my guess That'd be my guess. And my channel's way smaller than his, right? Like, how many subscribers does he have? He has uh, 1 million subscribers. So if a... What, what, what are we at? Like, 380,000 subscribers? If they'd pay if they pay me $300 for a really short ad, this dude's getting some, uh, like, thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars, for sure. Can you tell me a little bit more about the progression that you made from working as a crew and then coming up to the business manager? Okay, the salary, that is not a good thing. I was on salary before as a manager uh, when I worked at Blockbuster. I'm dating myself. But salary means that you are going to get fucked when you're no longer hourly. Then they realize they could take advantage of you to the extreme. So I went from working like, you know, 35 hours a week uh, to 40 hours a week. I was full time. And then jumping to salary, my pay was increased by like, maybe 5% each month. And I was working like 60, 70 hours a week. I was working, um, there's one week where I almost had a nervous breakdown where I worked two 17 hour shifts in a row because everyone had called out and I was the only one available. So it was like me 17 hours in a row with like, I think one or two other employees two days in a row. So I went home and I was commuting. So I basically went home to sleep. And then came right back. Could have just, really should have just like spent the night in my car. But like when you're on salary, they bleed you. They treat you like a robot. So her being on salary, like it sounds good, right? Because you have this reliable income. You always have a certain amount. And if your hours are cut, well, that doesn't affect your income, except they're going to take advantage of you for sure. So sales bonuses, I didn't get sales bonuses. But if we did make sales quotas, I would get more labor. So I'd be able to give employees more hours, which helped me to do less work overall. Uh, but I did get some bonuses. Um, although it wasn't until the store closed down and I got a bonus of, well, it was like $2,000, I think, because my store sold like a lot. It was like a going out of business sale and we sold a lot. And so I got like $2,000, which was a lot. Really, really cool. But like, that was really the only bonus I got. The only other bonuses that I can remember getting were like $100 bonuses. There was no holiday bonus, no nothing. So salary, you really get fucked. So I feel sorry for her because you know, she's not just working 40 hours per week. Although like, I don't know about regulations in the UK, but in the US, like if you're on salary, unless that's a giant salary, odds are you're going to get fucked. Um, like I wasn't even making 40 K a year to be on salary at Blockbuster. And this was, you know, circa 2012, 2013, but still like, that's not a lot of money, like making less than $2,000 per month. Essentially. I had a car payment, you know, rent, you just, and then you work nonstop. It's a lot. 
Oh, the gift card put. See, we didn't have gift part card uh, pushes at Blockbuster, but we had to sell like candy bundles. And once the company was bought by Dish, we had to shove Dish Network down everybody's throats, and the managers would get reamed if they didn't do that. It was just, it was so fucking obnoxious. <laughs> So do you think I could potentially work yes. here or develop into another yes. role? Yes. Yeah. Oh, would you hire me? I'd love to work here and make minimum wage, even though I just made like probably $5,000. Uh, off of this sponsorship and then not to mention the ad revenue from this video oh please hire me shut the fuck up i hate him so much am i being unreasonable here i hate him he's such a fake fuck god damn I think I'll pass on the subbing. What do the comments say? Hi guys, at a great time working with the fantastic team at McDonald's UK. It's so easy to apply for a job there. And it was really inspiring to hear from the staff about how they developed in their career by working there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know uh, what you think. 18 minute ad, YouTube is really pushing it. <laughs> right? When it's time to eat the rich, I'll press you into a patty and eat you. <laughs> God damn. Just disgusting behavior. You need a, a really reality check my child. Okay, seeing these comments, it does not make me feel as bad for just hating this motherfucker because, I mean, what a fucking shill. Like, that is the quintessential corporate shill right there. What kind of dirty propaganda did I stumble upon? When condoms fail, that's what you get. God damn. <laughs> uh, as a fast food worker, I could proudly say, fuck this guy. Thank you. Anyone who has worked fast food, you can't not hate him. Wage cucks triggered. Fuck you. Although maybe he's being ironic. I've worked there. And yeah, it's great if you have no self-respect and no will of living. That being said, fuck off, mate. Oh, okay. I'm loving the comment section. I wish I could see the dislikes. Clown, clown. The whole comment section is filled with recent comments. Charlie fan supremacy. So other people are talking about this too. It's not just me. There's another, like somebody mentioned Penguin. I'm not familiar with them. Charlie, okay. Hilarious. How deep is your tongue in their Mick Aiden? <laughs> okay. YouTube comments can be like the worst place on the planet, but sometimes they absolutely fucking deliver. Bull bugs. Charlie said not to troll this guy or call him a name, but I see a lot of people saying really hurtful things. Okay, I don't know who Charlie is, but Charlie, if you're dunking on him too, 
Uh, oh, it's Moist Critical. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, okay. Shout out Moist Critical. I'll 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 say the same thing. I don't know if I'll turn this into a YouTube segment, but please don't actually troll this guy or harass him. Um, you know, don't you don't need to comment or anything at all. I see a McBussy, Wilco. You don't need to comment. We, you know, we, we've gotten the commentary out of the way. Comment in my video, right? He doesn't need the engagement. He has a million subscribers. I need the engagement. Okay, so Charlie is Moist Critical and Penguin. Okay, how did I not know that? I did not know that. Thank you for filling me in, Chad. I am a boomer. This is absolute cringe. Cringiest thing I've ever seen. Straight trash. Weirdo, your content is trash. I hate you. I hate this guy. <laughs> Oh my god, I, this is the best comment section I've ever seen in my entire life. We're gonna keep going. This feels like it's straight out of this dystopian novel. Why is nobody wearing gloves? Gross. Uh, condescending knob. Or I gotta say that in a British voice, even though I shouldn't. Condescending knob. Imagine working in such a fast, stressful environment for crap money and then having to babysit this fundy dumb Tory talk. <laughs> Who has money you'll most likely never see. People like you are a disease. God damn. They are brutal. They are ripping his ass apart. You are a loser. I'm not here to harass. But who else came here from Charlie's video? I specifically came here to shit on you. Specifically. <laughs> because I was told not to. Nobody tells me what to do. Feels so corporate and ungenuine. Also, you're a piece of shit. Wow, you come off as a massive ball bag. Average. So somebody's attacking Moist Critical here. If you all came here to harass, then, uh, you know, don't support Charlie like you think you do. Yeah, I mean, don't don't harass him for sure. But like if somebody already made a comment, it's not immoral to laugh at said comment. OK, and that goes for me, too. If somebody leaves a shitty comment to me, um, you didn't leave it so you can laugh at it. It's not bad. <laughs> I, don't give a shit. I don't care. Reddit is ripping him apart, too. So this is on cringe. Millionaire YouTuber makes a McDonald's-sponsored video about how amazing it is to work a minimum wage job at McDonald's, acts like his few hours there is the most fun he's ever had, asks staff condescending questions, messes about with his mate, and states that making a McFlurry is his dream come true. So that's where I found this. But let's look at some of these Reddit comments. I hate that YouTube removed the dislike bar. The comments were ruthless enough. Would have loved to see the ratio. Exactly. I want to see the ratio. God, removing the dislike bar was like the worst decision YouTube has ever made. Oh, wait, somebody. So, uh, okay, so somebody has the uh, extension. Currently has 9.7K likes and 7.7 dislikes. Okay, so it's close. Links right to his channel. Uh, yeah, let's drive the views up towards this clown. Although people like Moist and myself, you know, we're, uh, we're restreaming the content with commentary. We can do that. It's fair use. So you don't necessarily have to give him views. Um, reminds me of the Michael Jordan McDonald's training video where he compares his job of putting on his uniform and satisfying the customers for millions of dollars to that of minimum wage grunt satisfying customers at McDonald's. Michael Jordan, did you really do this? Michael, Michael. No. You're giving Michaels a bad name, Michael. So this person suffers from an unusual form of cancer. I have anywhere between 18 and 36 months to live. If only someone could please let me work at McDonald's for just one day, I could die happy man, please. Okay, so I don't know if they're uh, you know, they're probably le like memeing. I hope they are. If not, that's really unfortunate. But um, yeah, this like reads like it feels like a make a wish foundation video where this was like his dying wish to work at McDonald's and make a fucking McFlurry. Like, let's see him interact with some of the customers. You know, l let's see them bitch about him, uh, bitch at him because they got three pickles instead of four pickles on their double quarter pounder. Like, let let's see him deal with that and how he can handle that kind of a situation wouldn't be so fucking soy faced as he is in the thumbnail if he had to deal with that right he wouldn't have this face if a karen comes up it's like speak up you can't i can't hear ya like i'd imagine that's how a british person sounds like but it sounds like uh that uh I, like i felt like that was cartman-esque not british at all I, I i'm telling you i have a terrible british accent but he wouldn't be soy facing when he starts dealing with the actual public who are complete fucking assholes. But okay, let's get a little bit more of the comment section. I I'm enjoying this too much to sum. This total loser with the dad butt. Okay, that's that's too far. And no personality at all has an amazingly hot girlfriend just to show you what money can do. Okay, I, I don't know about that. 
Now, nah, call me wrong, but this ain't that bad, bro. Uh, like, yeah, you can clearly tell it's fake, but almost all sponsors are- No, no, boo, boo, fuck you. Watch me. <laughs> he thinks Ronald McDonald is going in back pulling burgers out of his ass like, no, sh the burgers are cooked back there. I had a great McDonald's experience, though I can't remember much of it because I was extremely faded 90s. Okay, so just people shitting on him. Wow, has selling out ever been more blatant? I'd love to hear from one person who said working at Garbage Dump McDonald's helped their career in what? Pulling fries from the fire fryer when the timer goes off. Just to be honest, so the title and say McDonald's paid me to tell you working there is great and don't ever form a union because, you know, unions are bad for you. Exactly. Exactly. 18 minute ad. Exactly. The day they legalize uh, eating the rich is the day I'll give this video a like. Fuck you, man. I wish you lived like us for just the day. And that's just it. I, I mean, he didn't have to fucking do this. Doing propaganda at the behest of these large multinational corporations who exploit their workers, treat them like shit, saying, oh, it's wonderful. I had so much fun. They let me work the uh, flurry machine. And these employees who I shoved cameras in front of their faces, um, you know, they said that it's great. It's not like they're being held fucking hostage and anything that they say on this video will be used against them. No, they, they, they're they genuinely happy about working for this company that treats them like shit. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I hate this kind of shit. YouTubers have gone too far. Okay, we spent way too much fucking time on that.